When I first got this little outboard, first time I put him in the water, I could not get him started. It was embarrassing. I was at the boat ramp, everybody was staring at me. Starting a little outboard like this is super simple, but there's a bunch of things you gotta check. So we're gonna cover everything that you need to check before putting the boat in the water and the correct starting procedure if you're using the internal tank and an external tank. Let's go. If you're using the internal tank, you've gotta make sure the internal tank gas valve is open. Most outboards like this, internal tank gas valve open is in a down position there. You gotta open the gas cap vent. It's kinda like sticking a straw down in some water, putting your thumb over it and lifting the straw out. It does not let the water flow out of the straw. It's the same principle with this. You gotta open the gas vent to let air go in so the fuel can flow out of the gas tank into your fuel system. And you gotta make sure the emergency lanyard is clipped in. Emergency stop button is normally closed. So when you pull the emergency lanyard, this button closes, which prevents the spark plug from having spark. So if this clip is out, then it will not start. Here on the tiller handle is your throttle. You wanna make sure that this tab is lined up with start. So this puts the throttle in starting position. If you have it open like this, that's gonna give it too much gas. You're potentially gonna flood your motor. So you wanna make sure it's in starting position. Make sure that the shifter lever is in neutral. If you're in gear, there's a safety mechanism that prevents you from pulling the pull start. And what that does is it prevents you from starting the motor in gear because that is very dangerous. If you start the motor in gear and the motor takes off on you, you, know, you could flip out of the boat, you could run into something. Here's choke. You want choke out when you're cold starting first start of the day, choke out. Throttle's in starting position. Gas vent is open. Gas valve is open. Emergency lanyard is clipped in, in neutral. So now you're ready to pull the pull start here to start the motor. Once the motor is started, you want to kill, choke. Give it a little bit of throttle. Get the RPMs up a little bit, not too much, just a very little bit. Let it warm up for a couple of seconds. Always check right when you start to make sure that you've got cooling water coming out. All right, now we'll look at restarting. Let's say the motor is warm, you're in the middle of a fishing trip, and it's a slightly different procedure to start after the motor's warm. Let's go through that now. We'll kill the motor, pressing the shutoff button here to kill the motor. The main difference when starting when the motor is warm, you want the throttle to be in restart position so you want to line up the tab with restart choke you want the choke in if you choke with the hot motor you risk flooding the motor so we're in neutral nothing else changes we'll give it a couple of pulls so as you notice when we restarted it throttle position was in restart which actually gives the motor a little bit more gas than in starting position so the RPMs are gonna be higher when your throttle is in restart position. Don't let that scare you. The motor's gonna sound like it's going super fast. What you wanna do is you just want to, you just wanna throw your throttle all the way down to low, and that will put the motor in an idle speed for you. If you're using an external tank, slightly different procedure. You actually want the internal gas valve to be closed then you hook up your external tank here the metal lever clip that's on the fitting of your external tank hose line hooks up to here the external tank hose line has a check valve it's a little metal ball that this pin pushes when the fitting is clipped in and that allows fuel to flow from your external tank into your fuel system of your motor. So you hook that up, squeeze your priming bulb maybe five or six times until it's firm. Once it's firm, the fuel system is primed. It's got fuel all through the gas lines up to your carb. Your carb is full at that point and you can start your starting pr procedure the same exact way. It is very simple, but there's like six things you gotta remember to do it right. So I'll really count them off. You got one, two, three, four, 
five, six. You get those six things, rudder should start if there's not any other issues. I appreciate the view as always. Thank you. Please pick up your trash when you're out on the water. You ruin it for everybody when you leave a mess everywhere. I appreciate it. Have an amazing day. Thank you.